Welcome back. Today we are comparing and contrasting six different liquid culture recipes based off of two different nutrition sources. And I thought it would also be a good opportunity to test out these lids you see on your screen here. I got them from my colleague at Fungadelic Mushrooms, Alan. Thanks, mate. And I thought uh, this would be a great opportunity to test these lids and to see if they work or if everything turns into a contaminated mess. So let's prepare these cultures. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. You don't want to watch me mixing up culture all day. Um, but basically I'm using two nutrition sources and they are honey and then corn syrup with a little light malt extract. And within each of these nutrition sources, I'm doing uh, different concentrations. So for the honey, I have a 2% a 4% and an 8% honey solution. And then uh, for the corn syrup and light malt extract, I've got uh, my normal recipe, as well as a recipe that's twice as nutritious as the normal recipe, and another that is half as nutritious. These recipes can all be found in the description, so be sure to check that out. Beauty. And there they all are, ready for sterilization. Fantastic. The time has come to sterilise these cultures in your pressure cooker at 15 psi for about 15 minutes. Don't want to go any longer than that, otherwise uh, some of the sugars may caramelise, which isn't what we're after. So 15 minutes is plenty of time. All right, uh, it's time to inoculate our culture. I'm going to be injecting two cc's of this liquid culture I have into each jar. Following sterile procedure all the way, so we get a nice clean result. Six jars inoculated. There they all are. They have a nice amber colour to them. I think, however, I've cooked the 8% there. It looks very caramelized. Uh, very cloudy. What a bummer. But that's all right. The rest of the jars look great. You can see the culture I just injected floating around in there. And all the jars have this lovely amber color. few proteins floating around in there but they're all looking very nice perfect okay it's been three days since inoculation and let's look at how they're all growing so this is the weak corn syrup solution and my goodness full of lovely mycelium there this is my normal corn syrup recipe. And it's got even more. Bloody beautiful. Look at that floating around. We can see the rhizomorphs spreading and fanning out. And here's the strong solution. Uh, not much happening there. Definitely not as much as the, uh, the previous two. That's all right. Two percent honey. Ugh. Doesn't look like anything's happening there. A little bit of growth, uh, but much slower than the corn syrup. But some definite growth there. These are all looking very healthy so far, which is fantastic. Day three on the four percent. There's a little bit more growth in this, but uh, none of these honeys are comparing to the corn syrup and light malt extract, which is interesting. I've only ever really used honey in the past, but I've just started using a bit of corn syrup and. I don't think I'll be using honey ever again if uh, these results continue 
as they have been. Here's the 8% caramelized honey solution. Yeah, nothing. Nothing is growing in there. It's just a bunch of protein clouding everything up. Uh, there's a net energy loss from the mycelium trying to digest those proteins and caramelized uh, sugars. Okay, day seven, since inoculation. And there's that 8% honey solution showing a tiny, tiny little bit of growth. But I think the mycelium's really struggling in there. The 4%, looking great. There's much more than there was uh, after day three. Strong and healthy growth. We love to see it. Fantastic. It's really kicking off. And the 2% uh, has also started to grow a little bit more. Not as much as the 4%. Definitely more than the 8% though which is cool. But it's these corn syrup and light malt extract uh, liquid cultures that are really, really excelling it seems so far. There's way more growth uh, in these. Like, look at this one. Here's the regular recipe and it's just full, full of culture. Really strong, vigorous, and fast growth. Uh, which is amazing. Even the less nutritious corn syrup is leaps and bounds ahead of the honey. You can see it there, full, full of culture. Absolutely full. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, it's been two weeks. Let's have a look. This uh, less nutritious corn syrup, you know, it's full of culture. Absolutely full. Excellent, strong, vigorous growth. Even this uh, less nutritious corn syrup and light malt extract, full, rich, verdant mycelial growth in that culture. Here we have the extra nutritious corn syrup and my God, on the top there, the mycelium is growing along the top of the water. It's really happy. Really, really happy. You know, there's more culture than water there just about. Beautiful. Corn syrup is love and life. Here's the 2% honey, finally catching up. Lots of beautiful culture in there, finally growing. A little bit more sluggish than the corn syrup, but plenty, plenty of culture to be had in there. Magnificent. Much the same with the 4%, a little bit more than the 2% honey. Quite a bit more actually, it seems. Growing very nicely. Very, very nicely. Slower than the corn syrup, but we got there in the end. And that bloody 8%, not looking so, so good. A little bit of growth, but it's so sluggish. And I don't think we're gonna get much more than that. So in the bin, it goes. Ah, well. They 
just to reflect, it seems the corn syrup and the light malt extract, uh, for me at least, is the clear winner. All three jars were successful and all three concentrations gave quite a lot of growth. Uh, so you don't need to go overboard with your nutrition. You can get away with a little bit less actually, which is good news. It means things aren't going to contaminate as much. The mycelium is going to grow, even if there's not so much nutrition in there, they'll get something out of it. Um, the honey went okay. It's unfortunate that I caramelized the 8%. Maybe there was just too many sugars in that water uh, to sterilize correctly. But yeah, do with that information what you will. I hope you enjoyed this very rudimentary experiment and you get a little use out of it. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Catch you later. Thank you.